Hi everyone, I'm Xu Dong from Xinhua News Agency. I'm aboard China's research vessel Kexue, which is carrying out a 20-day investigation over sea mounts in the west of the Pacific Ocean. The underwater robot aboard the vessel has dived more than 10 times here, taking videos and collecting biological samples and rocks from sea mounts. Today, the robot dives into the depths of 2,000 meters in the south of a sea mount. After a seven hour investigation, the robot is coming out of the sea. This robot is a remote operated vehicle named Discovery. It has dived more than 200 times since it was put into use in 2014. The maximum depth for the robot is 4,500 meters. Now the robot has got back home. So what does the robot bring up today? Let's go and see. The robot works very hard today. It gets plenty of samples today. This is Xu Kuidong, chief scientist and uh, professor of Chinese Academy. So, Professor Xu, would you please give us a brief introduction of today's samples? Uh, today, the, the robot dive, we uh, got a, a collection of about 25 uh, individuals of giant animals and uh, these include some for instance a spongy medical glass spongy and uh, corals some some clothing corals and also some sea uh, this uh, we have sea star uh, sea urchin and sea anemone sea lily and etc and also yeah we have some got some shrimps yeah uh, would you please introduce a uh, coral for us okay Let's see, this is a soft coral, this is uh, a big uh, golden coral. Yeah, this is usually they can, they can live on rocks, the hot substrate. And uh, also inside the, the soft coral, some other animals, for instance, some shrimps, some, some shells, they can live inside. So this can pri provide a very good habitat for other animals. And this also, you see, it looks like, it appears like a, a plant. Yeah, but actually this uh, animal. So how do we distinguish animals and plants in sea? Okay, in, you usually in, your, in water depths uh, deeper than 200 meters because sunlight cannot penetrate. So big plants cannot survive, they cannot live there. So usually the, what, what we can see on the deep sea floor, they are all animals because they need to feed, feed the other, the other things. Okay, uh, what's this? This is a spongy, right? Yeah, this is spongy, this is a glass spongy. Yeah, this is very, uh, on the deep sea floor, it looks very whitish. And usually, this spongy, they usually a couple of shrimps, a female and a male, they live together inside. Yeah, this is a very fascinating glass spongy. And this is also another glass spongy. It's a symbol of forever love, right? Exactly, yeah, yeah. In, in China, also in, in East Asia, yeah, this is a symbol. Uh, exactly. So, uh, we can photograph these samples for too long, and some of them should be frozen or fixed as soon as possible. Uh, so, Professor Xu, uh, what are the research values of these samples? Okay, this is uh, sample is very important for, for us to know the taxonomy and biodiversity of uh, these uh, animals. Uh, on sea months because you, you know the, the soft corals and also really related uh, ecosystem they are not they are now have been considered as 
a vulnerable ecosystem and uh, the deep sea uh, species and also ecosystem are the need, need to be to be protected and uh, to know what are there and what are these and are important for us to evaluate uh, their conservation value. We know that the research vessel Kexue is carrying out an investigation over sea months. So why do we investigate them? Uh, sea months, sea months, because sea months is a uh, biodiverse hotspot for 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 deep sea animals. Uh, when we compare to the uh, deep sea floor, sea months are usually very uh, they, they can provide a very rich for of species and also a uh, 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 high biomass of uh, animals. Uh, also, uh, as I see, uh, as I said, the, 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 the soft coral, the sea mounts are very good. They prefer sea mounts, prefer the hard the rocks on sea mounts. And also, the, this, uh, to, to know them, they were important for, for future investigation, also for, for conservation, yeah, for biodiversity and conservation. Uh, we have investi investigated here for more than 10 days. Uh, what, are, do we, what have we learned about this same months by now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got samples and also we, 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 we indeed uh, discovered a lot of uh, uh, novel things and which we have, have never seen in other areas. And uh, till now we, are, we, we, we have explored about several sea months in this area. This is in the, the tropical Western Pacific area. This is, this is the area have a very less uh, studied area. And uh, also, you know, this area is, is a biodiversity center in, you know, for, 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 for shallow species. So we also interested to know what's, what are there in the deep ocean. And uh, the, the study also, I think, perhaps uh, can provide a very uh, baseline for, for future, uh, the evaluation, evaluation of the ecosystem and also evaluation of the uh, the biodiversity conservation. Okay, thanks a lot, Professor Xu. Thank you. Kexue is one of China's new research vessels, which was put into use in 2012. It is 100 meters long and 18 meters wide. The vessel can sail for 60 days and 15,000 nautical miles without resupply. Departing from its home port in Qingdao of East China on May 18, Kexue is scheduled to go back to Xiamen of China's Fujian province on June 23. Beside the underwater robot Discovery, Kexue has other high-tech equipment. Look at here. This is a crane, which looks like a giant doll. This is Cheng Yang, who is in charge of this equipment. Cheng Yang, uh, please tell us what can this crane do? This is the Kexue's A-Tang Jar. Its main function is to remove the crane's equipment to the depth of the sea to do some work. The most weight of the crane is 25 tons. In the A-Tang Jar, it is a drill. It can cover the whole crane. Its most length is 15 meters. He just told me that this crane can lift up equipment as heavy as 25 tons. And the two small cranes and its flags can stretch out their arms as far as 15 meters, covering all areas in this deck. Now look at here. What's this? This is a device. Its main function is to lift up the equipment to the depth of the sea. In this device, there will be a camera. 当我们离到海底的时候，可以清晰地看到这个海底的一些样貌。He just told me that this is a TV grabber. It has a camera. When the grabber reaches the seabed, the scientists aboard will see what is going on there. When they find some interesting rocks or something, they will give an order to the grabber. It will close its big mouth and take rocks back to the vessel. Does Kexue have other high-tech equipment? Let's go ahead. Cheng Yang, what's this? Uh, this is the CCTV. 
。那它是随着这根缆，然后下水，下水以后呢，它主要是起到一个起水的作用，会得到一些呃想要的数据，呃，就是温度、盐度啊，包括那个叶绿素啊等这种数据来做一个反馈吧。He just told me that this is a CTD which can test conductivity, temperature, and depth of sea waters as deep as 10,000 meters. It can also take 24 bottles of sea waters from different depths. When, ar when CTD arrives at a certain depth, engineers will give it an order, and some bottles, some bottles will close its bottom its top and bottom stoppers, and they will get the seawater at this depth. Okay, thanks, Cheng Yang. Thanks for your cooperation. Uh, now let's go to the top of the vessel, and we will see another secret there. Now we come to the warehouse of Ke Xue. Let's see what is the uh, chief officer Shang Guan doing. Uh, Dr. we are doing what? 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 We are 然后他会用螺旋桨随时给船一个抵抗风流的反作用力，然后让船保持在一米的精度范围内，然后这样的话就保证了我们海那个海水取样的精度。He told me that Ke Xue has a dynamic positioning system, which can make the ship stand still at the sea, or make the ship move ahead in any directions with five or ten meters. Which is very important for the underwater robot discovery we have just mentioned, as it sails very slowly under the sea, and the ship must keep pace with it. Now we come to the end of our live broadcast. Ke Xue will continue its research here for several days, and we wish it will get more interesting discoveries. See you.